following podcast may contain explicit language not suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Wait, it's not mania season anymore? I thought there was... Oh, wait, yeah, that was all okay, kayfabe. Uh, it's money. So, last, time I, last time I remember, I think I was supposed to be feuding with somebody, but now that's kind of in the bin because uh, the real world decided to change everything, and the world's a scary place. So, because of COVID-19, welcome to the Shoot Style Sauna on Zoom. As you can see, there are a lot of us on here. Uh, we have a we have a full lineup today. Everybody. I was gonna say we have a whole squad here. Yeah, this is the first time. This is yeah. the first time everything because we've had here. we've had four people, but never the proper five. Of everybody who's like a recurring guest. So welcome back to the shoot style song after like two months. Yeah. Last time we saw, last time we were here, it was Revolution. That was the last episode we did. That's disgusting. Because that it took that long. we planned for. Uh, March episode, but that's when everything kicked off. And I'm like, yeah, it's not. Because the last, like, planned episode was the ROH anniversary show weekend, and that didn't happen. Because <laughs> everything got canceled, and that's when it all started. But, running through the lineup, uh, your host, the real sauna host, the king of shoot style, Stell is here. I'm also joined by Matt. Hello. Also joined by sharpshooter Sam himself, Sam Little. Hey, that's me. We also have Eric here. Ignore the name if it says Marissa. That's this is not his proper Zoom account. Third Zoom account. And we have who was the Marty Scroll to my Nick Aldis. Uh, Papa's team himself. Uh, Tim is here. What's up, boys? Am I flip because of the hair? He's Marty Scroll. Yeah, but no, it was also the joke I had back when this is all happening is that I was the Nick Aldis of this situation and he was the Marty, or I was the Cody and he was the MJF. I like the NWA version better. But yeah, that's how it was. But yeah, that's in the book. So um, I also didn't want to do my hair today. So fuck that. I mean, that I works too. Wearing my Marty Skrull socks. Oh, yeah, I forgot you had those. <laughs> I have, I have a Jaws shirt. Oh, I got an Undisputed Era shirt. That's a good. I, I like that. Dude. I have my Rhea shirt on. Got my I, Star Lab. Unintentional. Plymouth State but... University Music oh, Theater and Dance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's school you guys graduated from, or that we've all graduated from, except for Schmidt at this point. Ah, sad. Oof, sad. What, what a dick. There. I'll so, miss you all. So how the hell are all we? Um, <laughs> Not I'm living. <laughs> I've been watching wrestling. Something I lack to do, honestly, except from like weekly television, because I've been doing a lot of other stuff. Uh, in the mean, I guess from watching wrestling, what have we been watching? Uh, Dynamite. Star Wars, Golden Girls. Um, Star Wars, ooh. Adventure Time. <laughs> I've, been... I've like heard good things about that show. I've just never really it watched really it. Good. It's really good. Have you guys seen um, oh, the Midnight Gospel yet? No. Netflix? No. Watch Midnight Gospel. I don't have a Netflix membership, so that's a no from me. Ooh. I have Hulu though. I've been watching a little bit of community on that with some friends. It's been fun. I've, I've been, been watching through. all the Power Rangers shows. Oh, like the OG ones? I'm trying I'm trying to get through all of them, even the shitty ones. But there there were some tough times for them, like we're going through right now. But <laughs> I've heard it's up and down. Um, that, so, that bit. luckily, it sounds like we have not all lost our minds yet because of current no. situations, because of the Benoit virus, but, oh. you know, it's going okay. <laughs> oh. what? Damn. I, don't know, I don't know if that was deserving of a Benoit <laughs> reference. Look, <laughs> man, if we, actually say, if we actually say the proper virus, I think we get demonetized on YouTube. That's what happened to some people. Great. All right, good uh, call by you, then. It would make sense if, like, the virus gave us a crippler crossface, then we can call it Ben. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, it cripples your immune system, or it cripples your lungs as well. Lungs. But, yeah, yeah, it sucks. Um, so, yeah, a big thing I wanted to mention since we're still in the one count, basically, is that how we, like, wrestling has changed a lot because of this, because uh, it's very empty. Just a tad. Just a small, small venues with, well, except in Dynamite's case, like, depending on the week. It's just small venues, performance center comes to mind, no fans, and it just feels empty. Yeah. But you know what does have fans? Our Twitch chat. Uh, or Twitch. I can't. I don't have Twitch open right now. I, I do there. because I am monitoring the Twitch. Uh, Jake Man says, "I still appreciate Ben Wan's a wrestler." You're right, but he did the thing. <laughs> he he did he the did things. things. <laughs> he did so, very I mean, wrong things. Oh, so hi, Jake. I, I can't see you in chat because I don't have it open. Don't I worry. Don't I, I will monitor that. chat as you know the god himself or Papa. That's whatever. fine. Papa. Um, yeah. So like, everything's empty now. I mean, like they made Mania work at least. I thought Mania was good. It was pretty good. I, a lot of, it was a it was a lot feel good moments. Which yeah, they, they did a, it, we kind of needed that though, considering we, what's yeah. happening, which is fair. I, like the only weird part was like, oh, Braun won, and I'm like, well, this is yeah. weird. Like Roman's not here. <laughs> the Boneyard match was awesome. I don't care what anybody said. Oh, yeah. Firefly I, match was awesome. 
Main I event want was, more. Main event was cool fun. on night two, but like it was short. It was fine. Uh, it was just good. Like I, if they, my thinking was if they if they had the fans and the two night approach, it would have been like in the great category for Manias. Oh yeah, no, like if they had, yeah, yeah. Because like it, they, it was it was like three to four hours at most. It was like easy to digest. They took like good breaks. Everything was all the action was really good. I'd say like the only like bummer was like Corbin and Elias, like the only really like, bad match I can think of. Mm. That was really all I could think of. And like the Raw tag match was like, eh, but like they had the Bianca debut, which was cool. Um, who's ready for the new Elias character that we're getting? What is he? Wait, what is he now? I haven't watched SmackDown like since the, so, time, went, the they, time Eric and I went. What they said is Corbin. I can swear, right? Yeah, no, this is uh, yeah. explicit. Yeah, so Corbin basically fucked up Elias, and then WWE posted like, "Oh, Elias has a, a, bl- a bruised larynx and some broken fingers, and he can no longer play instruments." And everyone was like, "Oh, so I guess Wait, character the change." Then. So, so he can't. So he can't play instruments anymore. That's kind of like his whole shtick. I don't know. Like, he do it anymore. He'll just be like. A, he'll just be a metal singer. Don't worry. Yeah, I think <laughs> he, just, he, he just gets like a Jerry Lynn and just starts like doing like the guttural voices that he used to do instead. <laughs> Good fucking he Jerry does the Lynn head. reference. And that's, that's what he does. And that's what he did. That was good. Before he became a trainer. Yeah, no. There's that clip of he goes like, I think he's in like WWF New York, and he's like talking like a promo with somebody, and then he goes, "It will be Judgment Day," and I'm like, <laughs> right. All right, I'm about to mute that. <laughs> I, like, I, I just peaked super loud, probably. I was gonna say you fuck it. Yeah, you peaked it, but that was. Okay, so is Elias gonna be like a heavy metal? Like, what the fuck is this? That'd be hilarious. So I think we find out. We find out tonight. I think because Dan, um, Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak versus Artist Collective. But the 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 oh, they have a name. Two, they have a um. Oh, I forgot they have a name officially partner. now. And like who? Oh no no it's 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 Cesaro it's Shinsuke but it's also, it's Corbin in place of Sammy. Yeah, oh, yeah I guess and Sammy's been uh kind of playing the safe because yeah, he's been absent alongside Roman. And they they're kind of just being smart, and like Sammy's been very outspoken about a lot of stuff going on right now, and I can't say it because I kind of agree with him. Yeah, no, I do. But too. Sammy is is a very politically minded dude outside of wrestling, so I can't really blame him for what he's saying. There's been a couple of people that have been absent too. Speaking of like how this has all changed, like we haven't seen Seth. No, Seth's been on the show like odd and off. Seth's been he's, on the show. Becky, not so much. Becky's been at home. I am. Oh, she's been doing TV. That is true. Like, too. But I don't know if that was like during all of this or like pre-record i have no idea <laughs> uh, uh who else has been absent roman's gone and which which is weird because like how the way they're doing it is he still on the roster like he's technically, still- I, ho- technically i hope yes. so i mean like in like canon he's not a thing yeah just yeah, they're basically much. like they actually edited him out of of a video package which yeah they did really I'm I'm 31 I'm yeah. if that was rock like- first roman never happened I'm wondering <laughs> and i'm if- like Purely intentional. No, I, I think that was intentional. It's intentional. It, I think as I said, like I, Seth pinned yeah. Roman, not Brock. Yeah, exactly. And like you don't see Roman at all during that. It's just Brock down on the ring. Seth cashes in, and then they fade the black. One, two, three. Seth is shame. It's like wait a minute, what? That didn't happen. They're just this is Roman all is still on the for the Roman turn. Yeah, it's Sam's. Like, you've been talking a lot about this, and it, it I'll explain it to the viewers out there. The writing's there. Um, I think they're just because I think what my 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 theory here is originally I think Roman was supposed to like obviously beat Goldberg or something, and I think probably like a week after well, or even Goldberg that, didn't want to work more than three days in a year. Yeah, and he gets paid like more than like almost the entire roster. And Goldberg I, didn't want to work Tuesdays. I think that um, <laughs> that's a good I one. Think <laughs> Roman would have won. Roman would have carried it till SummerSlam. Uh, lose to the Fiend. And then the fiend would have just been, you know, he does that whole fucking. None, none has ever happened, basically. Yeah, and then we would have seen heel Roman, but now I think we're just gonna get heel Roman at SummerSlam. But who's gonna be the top babyface on SmackDown? Daniel Bryan. Yeah, he's him and Gulak could be like a good tre- team. Like I'm surprised they never Bryan... thought about doing the the Bryan Gulak thing earlier because one is good at wrestling and the other is good at wrestling. They're, I mean, they're both good. Plus, they're like they're both so good characters. Good. If you ask but me, sports entertainment, not wrestling. Better look, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> look man look man they've, look they've gotten rid of like you can't say professional wrestling they've really changed that they say it all the time in nxt that it's professional wrestling they got and... rid of the term on non-title did they i didn't yeah. know that uh, well, they said something else instead i 
I, I don't know what they call it now, but I heard, and this was a whole thing with Shane Helms too. I don't know if you heard about this. Oh yeah. He was talking a lot about like how he doesn't like how it is right now. He was and like, he's, he's only, he's only furloughed. He didn't get released, which we'll talk about that later. Yeah. He basically said like non-title matches are boring, but he, he defended it. Like he, he was in the right, but a lot of people called him out. Um, I forget the exact logistics of it, but he got in some hot water briefly. Yeah, because um, when they did the whole Black Wednesday stuff, he was only furloughed from the company. He wasn't actually fired. But if he's going out there saying bad things about the company, ooh, he might be getting some heat when this is all over in hey, 10 anyone, years. Is anyone also like really pissed off about this whole Drake Maverick situation? Yes. Uh, it's weird. I, I think doing that it. might have been planned. Like, I can't I, tell. The only reason like, I'm mad about it is because you just like released a bunch of people that have worked for you for years and you release this guy, but it's all part of a work. Doesn't that seem like a huge fucking It's weird because like the way they're doing it too, because like he did the video, which was amazing. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I hope he and wins. I really hope he wins. I think he might. Yeah. This is why I think that it is a work and that they approved it with him first, because otherwise he wouldn't have released they wouldn't have shown it. video. They wouldn't have shown no the video was fine. It's that they showed it on TV is the thing. If they didn't show it on TV, it, it, I, we probably wouldn't be talking about it like this. Yeah. But now that Drake Maverick is A, still on TV, and has won against Tony Nese so far, it's like, he could go all the way. Because Kushida is the only one he hasn't faced yet. Kushida's 2-0 right now. Because oh. Kushida beat Atlas on Wednesday. I think they're straight up just letting Kushida win it. It, it, I think they. Oh, I think he's the right... He's I think he should win. at this point, and in terms of and like, like, everyone else that's there, it's... Kushida mm-hmm. has been like such like a weird character so far because like he's great to watch. It's just like they haven't really done anything with him. And I think he could be great. Can you imagine the match that we're gonna get when this shit is all done of Jordan Devlin versus Kushida? That's what I wanted at Tampa. That's what I wanted to do oh, with Takeover. God. I wanted that to happen at Takeover Tampa, but then Big Rona happens. I was like, ah, shit, uh, now we're gonna get it because he's stuck in Ireland. Big Papa Rona, almost as impressive as <laughs> Big Papa Pump. Everybody knows Except COVID one knows math just a bit better. That's good. Uh looking at the, the Twitch chat, uh going off of the SmackDown top babyface, uh B Clam, he says, What about Jeff Hardy? Oh what? yeah. Since they've been built I mean they have been building him up. That's a fair point. He's I, funny with Seamus, isn't he? Is he? Yeah. I, yeah. With I genuinely like I stopped watching a lot of wrestling, so I honestly don't know. He's gonna be on TV tonight. Oh, well, okay. Clean, probably he could be yeah, I, I was gonna pretty- say, haven't they been releasing those things of like him being clean now? Yeah, yeah. It was just that's yeah. like, that's always good to see because I've always I've always felt bad for Jeff and it's like he's always been one of my favorites growing up and I always hate seeing him like go through all these struggles because like we all like let's be we all love Jeff at the end of the day. I love Jeff Hardy. Jeff, good he's dude. So and now it's like oh he's getting better now he's gonna be a single star on SmackDown. I'm like you know what he I'd I'd be okay if he had like one more title run. I heard like originally they instead of Braun they might were they're thinking about giving it to Jeff at me. Yeah, I'm like that. holy shit. Like- they that would have been, that would have been insane if they I did. Fi- I don't think Goldberg could have fucking taken any of Jeff's offense though, and like make it look believable, exactly. right? Exactly. Like he would get hit with a whisper in the wind, and it would just be a fuck. Go down way too early. If it'd be the Jinder Mahal, where like Jinder Mahal yeah. would totally like miss the thing and just fall over. We don't talk about that though. That was a weird day. <laughs> that was a very weird day. Yeah, he's out of though. You guys know. You guys know he's back, right? Jinder? Yeah, Jinder. Yeah, he's on yeah, Raw. He was on Raw. Yeah. Now it's like he might face Drew. Fucking shredded. I have a theory. For a long time. I have a theory. theory. Go ahead. I have a theory about the whole three MB. I know he Slater got released recently. Yeah, he's got kids. Have you guys seen his new shirt? It says "I got fired" instead of "I got kids." (laughs) (laughs) It's It's so funny. It's so simple too. Because you notice every three MB member has gotten released, came back super shredded, shredded, and gotten a WWE title shot. So I think hey, he's going to come back. He's going to be super fucking shredded, and he's going to get a WWE <laughs> title I know, actually, That'd be amazing. <laughs> like, it, in like three years from now, the main event of Mania is going to be a 3MB triple threat match, oh, and he's going to win. <laughs> Five stars right there. That's The, yeah, the story's going to be off the charts. Are you kidding me? His new shirt will be, I got jacked. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna come back three years time or two years win the nxt championship from somebody who knows it'll be by that point probably kushida for all we know and then he'll come up to raw ideally because smackdown doesn't do a good job of building up talent i'm sorry um sorry, and then they'll book it to the top here you go story writes itself there it is well you just gave me an episode of the writer's room so thanks Del. no problem 
Writers Room with Tim coming out. Well, we have an EC3 episode out right now. More EC3 to come later. Episode out right now. Right now, I'm working on uh, King Billy Gunn. Who the fuck remembers that? I remember him getting destroyed. <laughs> I remember uh, King Billy Gunn was a fucking joke because 1998. The Rock. Not, yeah, King of the Ring 99. It it and the problem with it, and I'll explain it more in the video when I fucking release it. The problem with it is because you had so many stars that like no one gave a shit about Billy Gunn. Plus, like The Rock like, also like destroyed Billy Gunn. The Rock rinsed him. But also, yeah, he because uh, X Pac in the final, like that's a joke. Also, Bob, but my name's Billy. It doesn't matter what your name is. He wasn't even <laughs> one of my favorite even, promos. He wasn't even with the Outlaws anymore. He was the one Billy Gun. Yeah, the one Billy Gun. Who remembers that? And then yeah, who remembers and then Billy he, and Chuck? He fought for the rights to DX, and then he was like, "Well, now I'm an outlaw again." So there was no point. <laughs> That's a mess. And then <laughs> we all remember Billy and Chuck been, after that. It's not been fun to rewrite. No, I, I, can't, I don't know hard. how you would do that. Just have don't feel with the rock and do something else. Uh, you'll see. You'll see what I plan. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye out then. Um, anything else we can think about right now before we go to the next segment? Uh, TNT Championship. Oh yeah, that's right. We didn't talk about anything about Dynamite yet. I just realized that. I feel like a dick. I consider um, going either I think, way. I think Lance is winning. Lance Archer is winning. No, Lance, the only reason Lance would, should win. The only reason I would say Cody is because. John and Lance have that New Japan history, which if commentators oh, play shit, that's right. so well, it but they work. also already had that U.S. Championship match at Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, he did. Which and then Moxley, match. it was good. It sucks that my fucking feet broke out when Lance got the plastic bag out, but it was good. Okay. But it's like it's Cody too soon to do it again. I could see it. Like maybe they might do a stipulation for that at like the All In All Out show, whatever it's going to be this year. If they had um, Cody beat Wardlow, I think that Cody's going to be. Oh shit, that's right. That was in a cage. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually. But like Jake's there. They're filling up the feud really well. I want Lance to win because I think he'd be. A, they, would, they booked him so well. But why would they not give this to Cody? Like, given everything that's happened, he can't, he can't go for the world title. That's right. Can't go for the world title. He's like the face of the company. And who else would you want to hold your fucking television title? Murder Hawk like, Monster. Like, I if he wins, that's cool. I get it. That's but fine. I, Plus, like Jake the Snake but is then there. You have John beat. Brody at double or nothing, and then Lance can immediately shoot up, and Lance should be the one to take guys, it from Moxley. Guys, uh, ladder match, ladder match. Uh, ladder there match. it is, yeah. Anyway. It's also like, if Lance Archer comes off a loss, especially with the AEW system, he's not gonna go right for the world title. Yeah, and yeah, because like, like, wins and losses matter, remember? Yeah. He's still really new, too, which is yeah, the true. reason I don't see like, him in the The time. monster push he's getting right now, I think it's effective, but it's like, Jake is oh, making yeah, it so much better. It's I, I love what they're doing. Archer. Archer. I saw. I've been rewatching the G one uh, climax from last year, which is and, like where he broke out. Yeah, exactly. And then like the first match with Will Osprey was. You gotta go back and watch it. It was amazing. It's like a, it's one of his best matches from last year. Yeah, and then I saw them. I saw Lance Archer when New Japan came to this neck of the woods, and then so now he's oh, yeah. in AEW. So I'm a huge Lance Archer fan. He's great. Like I really, it's awesome to see how much he's improved. There's one, when we were doing the shooties, hyping it up. He liked one of our posts about it too. That's awesome. Yeah, he like he he's um, he, he wasn't probably as known compared to now, but still, it's cool. He actually like pays attention to people. It'd be interesting to see, as someone pointed out on the chat, if Cody does win, how do they protect him? But I think if you have Jacob the Snakeub, you can <laughs> work with it. <laughs> like Jake could probably make it work somehow. Plus, they might just do like maybe it's not a clean finish if Cody wins. And they do a rematch down the line, and then Lance wins. But like, I feel like you need to put it on Lance right away. Is what I would do. Maybe I just need to watch Dynamite because I've been behind. But <laughs> I don't know. I just like to see. I like the idea of Lance being the first champion more. I do like, like win, that because they can play that power heal for a while. But like with Cody, yeah, I, I'm with Sam though. It's thing because he does so much for the company already, and it's like he gets like these long matches. He always does really well. But I'm like, you know, you know that makes me think of Paul Levesque <laughs> because like it's very similar boats. Yeah, but, but like I shouldn't go there. Cody's not burying these people. He's building stars. <clears throat> That's like, true. Awesome. That's true. Because like, look at just look at Darby. That's like the prime example. I will say, the only thing I'm like would kind of be like skeeved about is if Brody Lee won. Like the it's not, it's so. weird thinking about that one because it's it's like it's kind of out of left field. But like Brody yeah. just got here too. I just don't think you can keep having old WWE guys when you're tired. I, I agree. I just maybe that's just me, but you know, I, I think Moxley should win anyway. And yeah. then you oh, can yeah. have like it depends who's in the ladder match though, like who could be next. If it's like Phoenix or some shit, but they have but I don't know if they're not allowed back in the country right now, so that's See, not gonna happen can, probably. If I can play devil's advocate as to why right now I think Brody should win it. 
Oh, oh shit. Yeah, it would be cool. It would it's be fine. Cool. It's, besides it's, a, it's whole, another like, crazy debut push. Yeah, besides the whole Mox wants to do New Japan full-time, it's... Could you imagine the vignettes they could pull with, like, Dark Order running the show now? Yeah, that, just like what they did with Mil Muertes and fucking, um... Lucha yeah, shit. Mil Muertes uh, reference. Thank you. Say, yeah, I know my, I, I, I like is that Ohio now, or is that somebody else I'm thinking of? The AEW title on Brody, and you just have him play that the fuck up, it would be... Oh, it would be great. Be cool. I would love that. I, think he I wonder who wins. Work. But Mox is all, has also just he's only hold the title for like eighty days. It's kind of weird too. He it's something like to go to New Japan. He loves it. I mean, I, yeah, he loves going there, but like it's weird right now considering like can he even wait, can he even go to Japan right now? No. Shit, uh, that's I don't think. Oh, he can't. Travel ban. Yeah, can't travel ban. UK UK is travel ban. I know that. I don't know about Japan. I I know. So it's a travel ban. I'll actually look that up. While I mean, if Brody Lee wins, then they can make fun of Vince McMahon more. Yeah, that's what they've been. That's kind of like that's like I, one of the weird things to me that they keep doing that. I honestly think if anyone's gonna, if this might be bold. I think MJF is gonna be the one to take the title off. I actually head. could see that. I thought they were gonna do that double or nothing. I think that's what's gonna happen because I think they're they're doing like they're doing like a slow burn MJF main event push. Mm-hmm. He beat Cody. He's gonna beat Jungle Boy at double or nothing, and then I think earliest to be all in slash all out or full gear, whatever it's gonna be in November. Yeah, or I like think it won't double be- or nothing next year. It won't be clean. Like it definitely. Won't oh no, be it's clean. MJF. It will not yeah, be clean. Exactly. We we saw how he beat Cody <laughs> with the ring. That was really well done, though. Uh, what what, what happened to uh, Adam Handswash Page? Uh, he's at home. He's at home. He's quarantining. Yeah, he's 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 playing it safe. I miss seeing him on TV because it was going so well. Listen, man, he's probably washing his hands though, which is all that matters, really. Cowboy. He, he, <laughs> he makes good content at home. He's making some funny like videos because yeah, like, he. Seen, have you seen I, the one from BTE? I saw the one where he did the dynamite intro, but just him at home with like different clips of him. <laughs> he's playing his switch at one point. He's uh, doing squats, like the dynamite theme song playing in the background. Then it ends with his logo at the end to stay at stay at home. It's on his Twitter somewhere. It's like a month ago. It's hilarious. Oh, but like, he, also yeah, he's he's still a tag champion. That's the thing. And like, Kenny's just on his own right now. Kenny's with Broken Matt, so let him do his. Which thing. is fine. Broken. And then we saw on uh, Wednesday, Matt did like a crossbody off a ladder. I'm like, that's cool. And then they ran over Sammy Guevara with a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. That was amazing. Um, and that's become like one of the biggest memes on the wrestling world right now. And I'm like, I agree. I need to watch like the full thing back. But it's like, what was cool until the end of the show? With, like the shot of the field, inner circle that on like so cool. the TIA Bank Field Toronto. Like, holy shit. Like, is- imagine like one day if they get like a show in that stadium. Mm-hmm. That will be probably for a long time. But like, I want to see what that would look like. Probably like years from now. Like a Wrestle Kingdom kind of show from them. You know, I'm sorry. I like I like both NXT and AEW. AEW is just doing it for me a little more lately. That's honestly fair because like, NXT is in such a weird spot. I think because... I, I think it's because they have people in the stands. Like they have like wrestlers in the crowd. Yeah, they have they have people in the crowd. Like, they, they had a few I... fans this week. Did they? But they're just people, like staff. I, I don't know like what production. Was. Yeah, it might be because like they test everybody that shows up, like. I'm pretty sure that WWE does the same thing. They test everybody that comes in. Yeah, exactly. And then I still they just need play to things safe. watch that. I still need to watch AEW. I need to catch back up. I just follow it every week because I usually. Well, I don't stream. I no, I, I don't stream on Wednesdays lately. But I usually watch one of the shows at night, and I always forget to watch the other one the next day because I have to do other shit. Yeah. Um, I always flip back and forth. That's fair, but I, I I want to stay tuned in for one and then watch the other after un, uninterrupted. That's how I do it. Even like with commercial, I don't want to change the channel just yet. But they have they have the picture in picture, but I still think they've been taping NXT. And, and Dynamite was live this week, and I think it's live from now on too. No, I think NXT is live. They've been live all day. They have been okay. Live, yeah. Well, the, the way they're doing it is like they they either they show up live and they tape another episode. They're off the next week, then they come back to do the same form. Like they do two tape shows. Like they do one for the same day. And do one for the next, like the next week. That's what I hear they're doing. So like NXT next week is probably going to be live, and the week after may or may not be. I don't know. That makes sense. I think next week NXT has a tag title match, and then oh yeah, well, I don't know actually what else is after that. I don't know. Uh, they still need to do. They're going to do more of like the Cole and Dream stuff, and I heard that it looks like that that actually might be no, continuing. I... I th- I thought I heard it was over. No, Mauro played it up on commentary that this, this isn't over, and I'm like, ah, shit, because it wasn't a clean finish either. He played it up That's by true. saying this isn't over. Just watch <laughs> it back. Um, <laughs> that was it. Yeah, I know. Um, and then the tag title match. I have a theory. 
Awesome theory. You, you probably have the same theory as I do. Sam. Thatcher turns on Riddle, joins, joins Imperium. Uh, I think the same thing, but I think Pete comes back as well. That's how you do it, because you can have Pete come back, and then they fight for the titles, and then they could probably win. Yeah, I think it's going to lead. They're going to be – Matt and Tim are going to be so close to winning. Tim is like, mm, Imperium, and throws his hand. Well, yeah, he's like – he's had like, his, his relationship with Matt is so funny, though, at the same time, but it's like <laughs> oh, I feel like he's getting annoyed. <laughs> Because, like, Matt's playing things off so well, like, all his comedy like, sketches with him. And, like, Matt. I remember he was like, you have beautiful blue eyes, Tim. He's like, eyes are brown. Ah, my eyes are brown. He's like, you're right, Tim. <laughs> I'm like, god <laughs> damn it. Matt, Matt has such great chemistry with, like, literally everybody. He just plays. He's, he's just himself, too. He just plays himself. <laughs> yeah. It's literally just him the person Fucking as his wrestling character. Bitch. <laughs> it's so funny. Um... <laughs> Uh, anything else before we move on? Um, uh, what else is there to talk about? Was well, we're just we're just kind of having a general discussion right now before we go to the uh, kind of like the ranch Jeez, segment. Shit. We are, are we ready? Yeah. yeah uh, so like the big like thing, I guess I think it's like the changes of wrestling right now is that um, Tim approached with the question of do we think that wrestling is essential? Now there's been a lot of controversy. Oh, no. Don't want to play the political angle, but you know Florida did deem at least wwe as essential and that was met with a lot of criticism from like baseball fans and i'm like it's weird because like we need to talk about their health and safety and stuff like that and i, I don't think... think it is but like i understand why they're doing it because like people have much forms of escapism right now and nick always said this really well when he was talking about it is that people need this form of escapism right now from all, all that's going on that's the only and... reason like i can really support it quite exactly honestly. and like, like with like all of, we haven't seen all of this because NWA has been off the air until next week because we're getting Superpower back. Can't wait to watch that. Um, but, you know, it, I can understand, like, why. Because, like, what else are we going to watch? Because, like, sports are gone for the sports fans out there. Live TV is kind of not really a thing right now. Sorry from the news, but fuck yeah, the news. No. All the shows are being stopped soon. Yeah, it's, 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 it's season short. Yeah, because it's just it's just, it's just going to be reruns eventually. Like we have like on demand stuff. Like we always have like we'll have New Japan World. We have Impact Plus. I was going to say all the network. streaming services must be rolling in fucking bank right now. I mean, some of, some of them might not be giving like payments out though. It's like some places like kind of waived their bills or like like some places do, some places don't. But it depends. Um, Let's hope pro wrestling doesn't go like extinct after this. I mean, it won't because like I feel like. This, the the independent circuit's definitely going to take a fucking... Oh, yeah, it's taking a hit, because, like, all their shows I got mean, canceled. There's, there's gonna be Just enough... look at Mania Weekend. Mania Weekend, they got fucked over, because, like, they couldn't do anything. There's going to be enough neckbeard nerds out there to keep the wrestling industry alive. Yeah, Hi, Twitter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Twitter. I know you guys don't show up about anything you di- these You days. dissing the neckbeard, Tim? I was going to say, hey, listen, I just haven't Dude, fucking... Dude, you dissing my <laughs> neckbeard? Neck, <laughs> neckbeards are gross. I don't make the rules. I'm I just enforcing them. Okay. Man, I shaved this morning. I feel good now. But, dude, it was a good good okay. Twitter call. Mine's just not but, on my neck when it comes up, so I'm good. No, there's going to be a ton of fans who, as soon as they come back, they'll all buy their tickets. Uh, shows right after the ban is lifted will be yeah, They're going to be sold instantly. out. Mm-hmm. Calling it. Because, like, AW imagine? Boston is in August, but who knows if that's actually going to happen. Yeah. Like, SummerSlam, oh, yeah. we don't know about. Yeah, AW Boston, which Eric and I were going to go to, it's now in, it's now in August. We still, tickets are still good, because, like, they didn't yeah. change anything about it, but they, they are doing refunds for people Fucking, who don't want to go. I'm just waiting for the Chicago shows at this point. That's true. You're, you're, you're in the best spot for AW shows, let's be real. Dude, every, like, every they go there so one often. pay-per-view a year, I'll be there. Tim, Cash is visiting you for the fucking the Chicago pay per view. Which is gonna be? I'm not paying for oh, I tickets. will be. Should be the next way. one. We gotta get tickets for that. We have housing. We gotta go to Starcast yeah. too. Yeah, sure. But we'll see. Um, yeah, but like end of the day, uh, I don't think it's essential. But like, if you want to give us escapism right now, as all this said, then yeah, because you know if you get to play things super safe, which both WWE and AW have done. Like we missed New Japan. I right, also best super best super junior is not happening. Wrestle Dynasty and, and on Madison Square Garden also postponed to next year. In yeah, terms of New yeah. Japan news, which sucks, but like, eh, fair enough. Yeah, you can't really blame them. Wrestle Dynasty is yeah. about to be a movie. It's gonna be. T- <laughs> I fucking wish. I want it. Like, New, <laughs> New Japan Productions is actually pretty good too. I feel like like all their video vignettes are really cool, mm. and like how they did the Moxie debut was really well done. But that was like almost a year ago now, which is. Weird. I just want. I just want more matches like the Firefly Funhouse. I mean this. Yeah. I mean this weekend that might actually happen. 
but you got to spread them out so they they feel more special instead of like oh it happens all Eric's the time. right yeah on that's one. true yeah, that's true I think, I... Becky, I think Becky said something about that too in interviews yeah I, I, I want to see more of that stuff just don't overexpose it and I'm like yeah so the rest I of want... feeling the same way I want a Firefly Funhouse with Hulk Hogan in it because you can expose him so hard with that one. Dude, Bray would probably bring up 2015. I know he would. Two dildos. He'd be like, this is Hulk, this is Terry's, and like the Hulk's one is like 22. That's that's the only thing you should put in that match and nothing else. It would be seven stars. That's it. (laughs) I'm just saying, if Terry Bollea's penis is like this, but Hulk's is like this, that's uh, all you need. Is hoax is 22 inches. Exactly. A 22 inch pythons, if you know what I mean. I, I have a few. I have a few people I would like to be in Firefly Fun House. My number one is Vince McMahon, though. I want him in there. I love that cameo he made in the Cena one because they did that. This is such good shit right. line. I'm like, that's that's a Moxley that's reference. Shit. I'm like, Moxley's interview lives on because that's where it first came from. In all honesty, I don't think they're going to be doing any more of those. They're like, oh, you like that? I think but they're, they're special. They only should be like at big four shows, if anything. I think they're going to do them. It's going to be a rare thing. They, can't, they, they, they can't, can't do it like. They can't do like every page. They, they can do like. Maybe like SummerSlam, you can do it. Like if you want to do it there, you could try. Yeah, yeah I think you just got to find someone good for it. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really get that stuff. Like, because when the Ultimate Deletion happened, he that was, even, that was great. I, I learned this from the Matt Hardy Jericho podcast. Good episode. Was, like, I don't get it. He just after they done watching, he's like, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Yeah, I remember like the night they did Ultimate Deletion. Michael Cole like sent on like a warning to viewers saying like, this is not like what you usually see on programming. So if you don't like this, whatever. Don't and they showed us the main event. Great though. <laughs> Say that again. I said the Ultimate Deletion is so great. Though. Oh, I loved it. It was. Re- it wasn't like. I don't think it was as good as the Impact one, but it was still really good. It was not as good as the Impact one. It's yeah, like, just a fa- well, Final there, Deletion there, was great. Final Deletion was amazing, and that's like when this all started kicking off in the first place, too. It's well, Impact has always been taped. That's why they can get away with that shit. That's true. Like I don't know if Impact, anyone caught like, my uh, Rebellion review. If you did, you're a G. If not, I understand. But they're doing the same. They did the same thing because the same Callahan has a whole new gimmick now. And yeah, what, what's going on now? Because like he so, BFOBE, and I'm like, why? So he, be, after he lost to Tessa. From what he I've heard from like, backstage and stuff, he he was just like, I want to reinvent myself somehow. So now he took the whole hacker thing that WWE is trying to do. I was gonna, yeah, yeah he's, he saw him in Crow is what he used to be. Yeah, except now, so now he's like, he's like taking charge of like all the production stuff, and he's just making fun of stuff. Plus, he's making fun of Ken Shamrock. Who gives a shit? Ken Shamrock is a ah, thousand. He's old, but he can be the shit out of anybody. This is true, but yeah, so like that match itself, which if. It's not terrible. It wasn't a bad match. It's, it's very cinematic, and it's the only way you're going to work with Ken, who's... It's Ken Shamrock, who is yeah. old. But yeah, he's like a hacker. He turned on OVE now. Like, he's Did just... You know he's like not OVE? Death Machine anymore. It's... I'm What's Eric? Isn't it like a ghost type thing? Because I saw a little clip of it. It was like Sh- Shamrock is following like a ghost thing, right? A ghost? Uh, What's like, going What is it back I mean, doing? Shamrock looks like a ghost, but that's because I mean, he's yeah. old. <laughs> He's just old, man. Dude is like, 57, and he his body looks like he's deteriorating. It's scary. When I watched him versus um, Mad Men Fulton at Hard to Kill, I was like, oh, God. And Mad Men Fulton lost. I'm like, you fucking kidding me? That was a bad night. That was a bad I'm Ugh. just saying, if they want more Taker matches out of WrestleMania, they keep. They got. They, they got to do that. No like, they got to do it. No more the Taker matches. Dude, that last one was so good, though. It was so but, good. Uh, I say his final match should be against Kane, and then they both fall into hell. That's it. All right, they're you done. Heard that from that. someone? And, it's, in your and it's Saudi Arabia I did. happened. I heard it from me. Wrestle Talk. Please. Oh, oh, ooh, his, uh, Wrestle Talk. Uh, no, can I get a dance game in chat for Wrestle Talk, please? Oh, oh, oh. Wrestle Talk bad now? I, I'm missing something. I don't. I don't. They okay? They get hard carried by Blumpier, Lori Blake, and Ollie Davis. I don't want to hear from anybody else. I love Ollie. Dude, uh, great. what the what's their game show called? That shit's actually entertaining. I haven't watched it. I don't know. I just watched it for Blompier at this point. Um, yeah, the occasional Larry Blake video. Adam. Hold on, I want to get the name. Oh, Quizzlemania. Quizzlemania is great. That's not bad, but like I don't know. I kind of I don't want to get heat from them, so I'll just keep my mouth shut then. I love yeah, it. because like I don't. Dude, I don't feel like dealing with them right now. <laughs> you just hate. Yeah, like, they're you really just, gonna like yell at us. You think they watch our content? You just see them on Twitter. You like, tried to start stuff. Look, I've had Ross interact with me. I've had Tom Campbell interact with me, so I won't talk. Shit, boy. Look, I've had you shit. Other, start other a feud with Russell Talk. Mm. I mean, Russell Talk already beat them. I don't, I don't think we aren't far behind. 
We'll have to drive a tank in like DX. (laughs) Get your towels ready, guys. A good comedy moment. We gotta go to England first, too. That's where they're based. Yeah, I don't have a passport. Fuck that. Neither do I. Plus travel bans. Passport gang. I haven't gotten a passport. I could easily get one, though. They're great. I could, too. Someone who knows. Um, Stick with what we talk about. We talk about impact. But yeah, the whole Sammy thing, I find weird. Really I mean, like, the, sh- the show itself wasn't the same thing as weird. It worked. I mean, because Willie Mac won. That was cool. Which that should be the only match you watch from that show is Willie Mac. I, and, I mean, Moose. I, what, what, how do you feel about the Moose situation? Oh, the Moose. So the Moose the situation was, was the funniest back? thing ever. What's up, Sam? I said, I guess the heavyweight title's back. It's yeah, it's it's, it's the TNA back. title. It's not like it's not the it's, current. Yeah, one. it's because Tessa lives in Mexico and she literally can't get into the country. Yep. So, so your world they, champion is, is mo- up well. There. They've also TNA is also ta- or not TNA Impact. Fuck you. They've taped stuff for like through August. A long point. time. <laughs> it's like a good while. They've taped everything now, which is crazy. But that's also f- smart. But damn, that's been a lot of work. They're fucking yeah. impressive. Yeah. Uh, that's all I can think of for Impact. Like, ugh. I haven't I, watched Impact. NWA will be back on Tuesday, but that's, that's the last episode. So the fact that it's called that. Superpower, if no one shows up in a cape, they did it wrong. Aaron yeah. Stevens showed up in a cape. He's on a, it's Superpower. Well, it, it was, it's taped, though, so we'll see. Like, that, was, that was supposed to air out on the road to the Crockett Cup, but we'll see. <sighs> when I just missed NWA Power. I just missed that show. Don't we all? Um, I think that's just does it for no holds barred. So, end of the day, wrestling is not essential, but we get why it's important, and we'll move on. Uh, so now let's go back to the realm of current times and let's talk about uh, this Sunday's pay per view, Money in the Bank 2020, coming from oh, that is the WWE same. headquarters in Stanford, Connecticut. I still can't believe it's happening there. Is the whole show being uh, held at Titan Towers, or isn't it just the so money? Bank? I have no show. idea. Whole show. So, so how it works is the both money in the bank matches are going to be happening at the yeah. same time. at the same time. So and I'm I, like, what? What I think Wait, they're going to do is what? They're, going to start, they're going to start off showing everybody doing the money in the bank shit, and then they're going to be like, all right, now let's go watch a match. And then we're gonna watch a match, yep. and then we're it's gonna. It's gonna come be like a twenty four seven title sort of thing when they cut away. Yeah, that's, oh. exactly, that's exactly what it's gonna be. I could see it. They're gonna, they, no. and they have to work their way up through the building too. So, um, so just I, imagine, just imagine Oscar dancing around the headquarters while making her way up to the top. Kim, as long as Mike, someone gets thrown off a roof, I don't care. AJ They've teased that. They've that. teased that. They Someone's going to, to fall. See someone get yeeted off of a roof I was or, Corbin. Or, i was corbin and hear me out here <laughs> if they're doing both at the same time can we watch alistair black hit a fucking fade to black on nia Jax? that would be the funniest <laughs> thing in the history That'd of be time amazing could you That'd just imagine like otis throwing dana brooke off a roof it would be funny um, or Asuka just, just kicking Rey Mysterio in the face as oh, be hard hilarious. as she could. I, I, I <laughs> wish our truth was in this match. So hey, because Carmella's in it. And Carmella's in this match. Grab the women's briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the women's briefcase, <laughs> and then Carmella he, grabs the men's. Yeah, so they switch him. <laughs> like, oh, he could give it to Carmella if he won, because like he can just give it to her and she wins. That's how. That's how. That's how she won in the first place, though. Remember? Um, it was James Ellsworth. Yeah. Yep, I remember. I forgot about that. Knows, uh, we don't talk about that. that. Oh, then, then it did it again. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. Um, so we're gonna go through the card, uh, match by match. Just go around the table, say predictions. Feel free to explain why. You don't have to. Um, which uh, I'll start with. Sure, this is, this one's easy for me. Uh, WWE Championship match: Drew McIntyre versus the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins. Uh, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. It's too early, and it's Drew. I, feel like <laughs> I couldn't. I I want this match to be at SummerSlam personally, but I understand why because like just probably short of shortage of talent. Plus, like some people are doing other stuff right now. But it's Drew's like first like big defense, big show. We ignore that was just yeah. for the big show show. But the that big was also- show is big. It's in his name. The big it's show the show. big show show. I want to watch that. <laughs> it's really funny, actually. It's, well, I, it it, it, it's, it's all right. It's watchable. I don't think I've ever wanted to see Mick Foley sing boy band, so I'm good. What? <laughs> what? I gotta see this now. Isn't that an episode? It's like Mark Henry, Rikishi, and Mick Foley all doing like an in sync thing. That sounds hilarious. I want to see Rikishi do that. <laughs> That's hilarious. They like serenade Big Show's wife or something. It's it's oh, it's hell insanity. Yeah. It's Fucking so what? funny. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, but I think I think everyone here except for Scott 
Yeah, so, through. yeah, I picked Drew. Scott, uh, he chose Seth, which he had really good fucking reasoning. It's, it's a fair reason, actually. They want Drew to win it big at SummerSlam in front of a crowd. If there is one. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, it's not a bad idea, but, like, we don't know what it'll look like in three months' time. Uh, but, yeah, the, the Mr. McIntyre. Yeah, uh, next on the card, SmackDown Women's Championship match, Bailey versus Tamina. We all chose yep. Bailey. On yeah, this, this is like the this, this is our one agreement on the entire show. There's I gonna be there's gonna be a cash in. I think it's Ooh. Not I think there's gonna be a cash in. Oh, Tim has some going on here. How are they gonna do a cash in if the regular matches are in Orlando and the Money Bank is in? Oh yeah, shit, that's a good point. If that actually happens, we because we don't know. We still don't know. Well, oh no, the Wikipedia. The Wikipedia doesn't list like the performance center. They just so like, have them run know. in and be like, I flew from this place. From Connecticut to Florida. That's actually, not, that's a decent flight. In not like flight. two hours. I, I mean, know. depending on who wins, it could actually make sense for the character. But we'll see. Um, yeah, we all picked Bailey because like, it's, it's Tamina. It's Tamina. <laughs> like, she's, she's, she's trying her best with this, but I'm like, but it's Tamina. Yeah. And just, like, there's so many other people you could do this with. It's just that <laughs> like, I'm sorry, of the man. But... with Bart in the cake that says at least you tried. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel terrible saying that. Yeah, um, that one's kind of easy. Uh, next up is a uh, Universal Championship match. Uh, Strowman, man, the Strowman Express. Yes, that's a T-shirt. I don't know why. Versus not the Fiend. It's just Bray Wyatt. Wait, we saw, really? Yeah, it's just Bray Wyatt. This happened at TLC with the yeah, Miz and Bray that. won. I um, I don't I. That might mean Braun wins. I picked Braun because it's not the fiend. And if like if they're waiting for Roman to come back, then you have Can Bray I lose. change my pick then? Yeah, I might have to change that. I will mm-hmm. change your picks right now. Yeah, because I picked <laughs> It's weird though, because like I chose Bray, Bray White because if this gonna Bray wait for Roman, did beat Miz sense. at TLC, so he this Bray has won. It's the Miz. But it's not the Fiend. Yeah, it's the Miz though. He's I, a, team, I, a tag team wrestler don't right now. Fuck with Michael. Do Don't fuck with George. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, Michael I'm Mazan gonna go with God. Br- I'm gonna go with Braun because, like, it's one. It's kind of too early to take it if they're waiting for Roman. Well, it's Braun. Like they took Braun. The- Braun lost the IC belt, then won the Universal Championship, <laughs> like Braun. in less than a month. But that's also because Roman. Like that's why. Uh, keep me for keep me for Braun or not Braun Bray. Ooh. I will do that. I. I this just is a weird one. I, I don't. It's not gonna, uh, Braun's gonna win, but I still. I, think cards are, are hard. See, if it was Fiend message. versus Braun. Oh, Fiend would win. Yeah, Fiend would. Start. Yeah, Fiend would win. But if it's just Bray, it's just Bray. It's Bray. It's it's our Funhouse guy. It's maybe, Mr. Rogers himself. Wait, hey, maybe we get the debut of this rumored stable forever. <laughs> this has been so long though. It's <laughs> just the use? it's just the new Mick Foley. It's just three faces of Bray Wyatt, but all. So in what? The it's same what? Room. It's Husky Harris. It's the fiend and Bray, Eater of Worlds. Oh, oh yeah, and Funhouse. Swamp, Swamp Father. Swamp Father for the Swamp DLC. <laughs> yeah. We don't talk God. about 2K20. We don't talk about 2K21. 2K21 is, 2K21 is canceled. <laughs> Battlegrounds, Justin baby. C. We don't talk about oh. Battlegrounds. We're no, not talking about All Stars 2 at this point. Coming out with the crocodiles that eat you. Well, yeah, Battle oh, Battlegrounds. Yeah, is this going to be Mortal Kombat? We want to. We want It's new All Stars. Just like taking to another level. And not as good as All Stars, probably because All Stars is good. Don't at me. Pray All Stars was a good. Fiend. It was a very good. Fun fun house match. Uh, is that it for that one then? Uh, yeah. I think next is a SmackDown tag team title match. It's a like it's a four team match. It's New Day who are the champions. Miz and Morrison. Hey hey ho ho. Uh, they're forgotten sons. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah exactly. And Do you Lucha get house it because party. Their name is forgotten. Um, I'm gonna say New Day because you, forgotten sons are boring. Uh, Miz and Morrison, they just lost the belts to them. And Lucha House Party is Lucha House Party. Lucha thing. Hey, God damn it, woo. Lucha! Lucha! I was going to say, Sam did Lucha pick Lucha House Party. Lucha, 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 Lucha House Party. The fuck are they going to do? <laughs> it looks like they're like all going to jump off the oh, Titan Towers now. Lucha, Lucha. What the yeah, fuck? Um, I'm just kidding. I, no. I think... <laughs> I think this is the match the hacker is going to get involved in. Ooh. Yeah. Well, if, if, if they're if they're a tag team, then yes, it would be great. So I think I think New Day is going to get screwed out of the titles by Xavier, which, which is just fucking say, one. Also, why it's I think Xavier one. is part of the the truth. Eric, what do you have to say about this? I was going to say something about the hackers. This is rumored to be CM Punk. Would it be not no. fucking CM Punk? It's no, not it's my uncle. Yeah. Shut up. I don't, don't like this. Uh, Can I mute? Matt? It would be so great if he came back on Money in the Bank, the pay per view he won the WWE Championship, which I did a review of it, and then come. Wow, what a plug! Wow, what a fucking. 
The <laughs> Artie Lorde wow. is a shameless plug wow. of an asshole. What a great, wow, what a great plug. Oh, Which I think would make sense. Just saying. I mean, yeah, but like, you do it in front of nobody. <laughs> Which, it's just like ugh, well, can't he do came it. back at uh, WWE backstage and now wasn't in front of a crowd. That's true. That's that's the studio set. I don't. Also, I also think. I also think that if they're gonna bring back Punk, it's not gonna be on fucking SmackDown. It's also not gonna be for, for like a, for, in a random throwaway back. segment, like a tag team match. Yeah, it's like it's it has to be. Like, it has to be like a main event or like a singles it's, it, somebody. If they're gonna bring back Punk, Punk is literally gonna go in, say "fuck you, WWE." And that's how he's going to walk into the ring. And buy my wife's book. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's going to say, buy my wife's book, no, fuck WWE, and fuck you fans. You Vince didn't realize Vince. I was gone. Uh, I know I don't work in television, but I don't think you can say fuck on television. Just saying. It's kind of a censor. It's also PG yeah. television. I was going to say. TV 14. I mean, they, 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 I would rather they've been swearing a fair amount, actually. Uh, but I don't yeah. You're a poopy head, Seth Rollins. I, I, You're a uh, poopy I head, say New Seth. Day and Scott. But didn't Drew? Wait, Morrison. Drew called Seth a piece of shit, though, didn't he? Oh. he yeah. Did do this at this time. Yeah, he did. But that's pretty cool. You ask me, because actual things he would say to people. This is Television us, is it changing? It just um, the tag team match is all over the place. I'm actually surprised by that. Uh, we'll go to the men's Money in the Bank match. I think this is probably the hardest one for me to call. Uh, men's Money in the Bank is it is AJ Styles who is back from the dead. Yes, that is a clone of AJ Styles. I don't want to hear from anybody else. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, we also have not Apollo Cruz. He was in the match. I actually Alistair Black is in this match. Sorry if I'm lagging. I'm actually looking up the card right now because I forget who's in this. King Corbin's in the match. Daniel Bryan. Otis and who am I forgetting? That's the last Alistair person. Black. I said him. Ray There's six Mysterio? people. Yeah, and Ray. I forgot because he beat Buddy Murphy. When I thought Buddy Murphy could have used this more than him. Oh. Um. So uh, I said Alistair Black because I'll... I think he would work with the briefcase really well. They Heyman want, has stuff in mind for him. He's been racking up a lot of wins. He beat Bobby Lashley at Mania. Has had a couple wins since then, and they have stuff in mind for him. There is the rumor that Mania next year could be him and Drew for the belt as the main event, or as one of like the big matches. That'd be cool. And I think if you're gonna do this, you can give him the briefcase and maybe like start teasing that, or have him cash in and win, and maybe start a feud from there. But it's this. This is hard. I won't be surprised if AJ or somebody else wins too. But I'm gonna go for I Alistair Black. AJ because he's coming back and he seems to be he's gonna be the top heel on Raw. Which is I'm, I'm game for that because now the Good Brothers are gone, which we'll get to. Um, it actually will be great to get AJ another singles push. He's, he's just so good. Yeah, he is yeah, just I, like he's just really good. I said AJ. Uh-huh. Now I'm gonna play it safe, uh-huh. but also think about it. If anyone from SmackDown wins the case, they're gonna have to cash in on the Fiend. And it's going to be King Corbin I mean, if he doesn't win. So that does influence uh, Scott's pick because he also thought about that. Scott chose Daniel Bryan. Which is a good pick. For two things. One, it's because this is Daniel Bryan's last year. Yeah. It is his last year, basically. I didn't it's think It's not that. confirmed, but it's pretty much this is his last year of wrestling. And B, yeah, that's sad. since Daniel Bryan and Bray already have beef and you want a solidified world champion, it makes sense. Are we implying Bray wins? We are. And Scott's in either universe or Scott did say Bray wins. We are. Scott has. Win. Ooh, this is Scott's. This is Scott's booking. Um, I say uh, AJ Styles because AJ Styles. Yeah, I it say. Was, AJ. He, he, AJ. I, AJ's always a safe pick at the same time. So I don't blame you just guys. Just because AJ, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, two electric boogaloo would be kind of tight. Because if anyone, I mean, should, Seth? if anyone should take it away from that's heel versus heel. Your heel versus heel. That's why. Thank you. I have two of those. Out, get out, get out, <laughs> get, off, um, get off my chat. No, if, I'm the host here. This will end the whole call. Damn, all right, yeah, all right. yeah. If anyone's gonna take it from Drew, it has to be AJ, but it can't. AJ or like some like screwy cash in, yeah, it's, which it's, is like, yeah, shit, actually. It's gonna, Plus, you, you have to build up black. Most of the roster is in there, like, like not not Umberto Carrillo because screw Umberto Carrillo. I'm sorry. Whoa, um, whoa, I agree. Umberto's fucking boring. I don't want to hear oh, it. Yes. He really um, is. Well, in my defense, uh, you're a nerd. He just fucking does flips. <laughs> That's awesome. it. Why do I care? It's like Austin Theory. He's also boring. I love Austin Theory. Just let Austin why should I? Why Austin should I care? Has, Austin Theory has great potential. He just he needs, has potential. He just called, got it's, brought to Raw way Umberto too soon. Umberto and Theory have great do. potential. They just need mic work. You know what? No, he's like, no, he's champion. I'll say Andrade, but he's U.S. champion. Andrade should not have a belt anymore. I'm at, he's been U.S. Uh, champion for a good I, while I, now. Yeah, I, he's done nothing with it. He should Which have. sucks. But like... 
Well, he no, he's 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 still on TV, but they're doing the, the stables in a weird. Well, because theory theory sticks out because it's just like here's Angel Garza, here's Andrade, Love here's Angel Selena Garza. Vega, and here's Austin Theory. It's like, huh? Austin, he's not Mexican. <laughs> I, I, was told, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to go there, but yeah. Jesus oh, Christ. I, I, I feel bad. I'm such an asshole. All right, so know. Money in the Bank men's one. Interesting choices. I Let's go to the I, other one. The other one happened at the same time as this is the women's Money in the Bank match, which is Asuka, Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, Dana Brooke, Lace Evans, and Carmella. Um, well, we know it's going to be a Shana. Person. It's going to be, yeah, because <laughs> advertisements are great, everybody. Um, Wait, I think did they did they actually confirm it? They, they, okay, yes, they um, they accidentally leaked it, maybe, because they said on Raw next week, Becky is going to confront the winner. So uh, so if Carmella wins, then, okay, that's her next feud, then. So, SmackDown versus Raw, so everybody. I might change my pick, then. Okay, cool. <laughs> Who'd yeah. you pick? So, you because pick I was banking on the, the SmackDown cash-in, which I had a theory of how they would book that. So I was gonna pick Lacey Evans. I I, I was originally gonna pick Lacey because if, I thought so if too. And Sasha I'm like, no. celebrates with Bailey after she beats Tamina. Sasha turn on Bailey. Lacey wins the title. Bing bang boom. You yeah, that's so you, what I thought. You do that, that instead of Sasha Bailey though at SummerSlam? Are you kidding me? Yes. In Boston, which is Sasha's you hometown, don't have, you don't need a title for Sasha Bailey. That's fair, but like I feel like it'd be more if plus, a big deal. You can elevate... Okay, plus like look, Sasha has not fucking won a proper singles reign since she came up to the main roster. I, I feel so bad. I'm not the biggest Sasha Banks fan, but still, like I feel so bad for her because like she's the one horse that hasn't got a proper shot yet. But and I think doing it in her hometown with the title on the line is the perfect way to do it. This is just my two yeah, cents. I, I, yeah, I totally think the wrong. devil's advocate would be the the feud is so big you don't need a title, and then if you put the title on someone else, you can elevate more women there. So who, who does Lacey fight? Um, Amber Moon's injured, so it's not Moon's her. Injured. Carmella, Dana, Tamina again? Wait, what was the question? Turn Tamina heel? God, uh, no, God, you could no. you could do Lacey like uh, oh, Lacey so- Mandy oh, Rose. Sonia, Sonia, Sonia. Heel versus Sonia is way better than Mandy. I don't care anything you say. <laughs> heel versus heel. Um, I just Lacey's the face. Yourself, oh, then yeah, fine. Lacey Sonia then. Okay. Yeah, Lacey so- Sonia is amazing. This is correct at this time. Um. Uh, who else? I haven't. Said, I picked Oscar I'm because I think Shana. she'd be. A, I think she'd be amazing with the briefcase. I was gonna say like, she'd be so entertaining. All, the, with all, it. All, all, all you other guys are Oscar and Shayna. I'm gonna. I'm different. So don't. Dana say. Brooke. <laughs> Dana, <laughs> Brooke. Not Dana Brooke. <laughs> you fucking imagine. Dana Brooke I mean, is gonna fall down the elevator. Carmel, show. Carmel's already won it. Even though it'd be cool if she won again. But like, if Oscar won, well, if she cast it on Charlotte, I doubt that. But still. I just want oh, to see someone get back. kicked off a roof. One thing, one thing I forgot to say for the men's money in the bank. Uh, Tim knows my bold prediction for this. I think. Oh, go Otis, ahead. I want to hear it. Otis is going to take the elevator the whole way. Oh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> if that oh, no. doesn't happen, I'm turning money in the bank off. And I'm That'd be so much. Got to do it. Him or Corbin are going to do it. Watch, because Corbin definitely yeah. would do it too. Corbin would be like that guy who would take the elevator. Lacey actually would do it too. You know, she's like kind of person. Well, Otis is just I... gonna hit top floor. He's like, all right, guys, I'll see you at the men's. Oh yeah, I takes oh, the elevator. Yeah. I have for the men's. I have black because I just want to see black kick someone off a fucking roof. If you if he black bats somebody up like from a ladder, I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry. Oh kicks Otis off and Otis just like deploys a fucking parachute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking Mandy god. Mandy somehow catches him. Oh my god. The reverse. <laughs> the reverse. This is the first ever kill off of a character. <laughs> just straight up played an Uno reverse card. <laughs> I placed my card reverse in blue because Smackdown. My Dude, God. imagine imagine if Otis just puts a Uno re- shows an Uno reverse card for for, <laughs> for Black and Black just shows a skip card. I, I won't lie, I was, no you. I was really surprised when Otis beat Dolph for that spot. I'm not gonna lie. I was on SmackDown, not Mania, right? I wasn't surprised at yeah, all. Yeah, it's it's SmackDown. Like, I was yeah, surprised. that's right. It's like they did it again. And I'm like, oh, is Dolph gonna win now? And yeah, I was just, I'm like, oh, Dolph? okay. Why do they hate Dolph? I mean, like, what else are you going to do at this point, though? Like, Dolph's been around forever. His peak of his career. Throw another world title on. His peak was in 2013. Bullshit. Oh, his peak was the Spirit Squad. Let's well, be honest. I, one second. One second, guys. <laughs> I think AEW should pick him up. Just uh, if he ever leaves. I, I, I'm missing the joke here. Hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It oh, time. no. Oh, no. It time. Look, I fucking have had this shirt right here. This picture since I was like a junior in high school, when I was like probably the, one of the biggest Dolph Ziggler fans around, yeah. and like this, sh- th- this was this was when he had, he was at his peak. But like now, 
Don't just, uh, he just fucking he just goes in the bin personally. Ah. I disagree. Watch your mouth. I don't know, man. Like, what else do you fucking do with them? Because, like, I just think it's too late. He's a great competitor. You He's good, but like, for the U for the Universal Championship, that's what you do. With oh God, how about that? I think I think what you think should, should just go against some. I, I, He's uh, a great heel. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, face, but like, I tried to do. I tried to do a a, a a meme, and it didn't fucking work. I'm mad. What did you do? I feel like you I, should. So I was trying I to pull I the think... the no you card, and I tried to put it so you would all see it, and I fucked it up. So don't. I think it. Dolph is the only one who could probably make no you card right here. look good. <laughs> I mean, because like he's one. He's a great seller, though. That's the thing. He's yeah, always he's... been good at selling. And like the way he made Goldberg look at SummerSlam is probably the best Goldberg has ever looked. Yeah, exactly. Because like we don't we don't talk about either Saudi show. We, we don't. Him times. Yeah, but it looks good. <laughs> that's that's literally that's Goldberg. That's literally Goldberg. That's all Goldberg he is. Is spear jackhammer done? Exactly. Like and that knee bar he did. <laughs> what about the no jackhammer <laughs> needed spear one. by Moose? Yes, that's what the move is called. That actually, and yes, it's awesome. Fucking God, Moose is a I love Moose. Care. It's Moose is such a meme. the no jackhammer needed spear because yeah. he don't need a jackhammer. I hate Moose. Moose's character is actually hilarious. I love hilarious. Moose with all of my heart, and I would protect that man with my Was he dressed as Macho Man, or was he dressed he was as dressed Ultimate, as Ultimate Warrior? Warrior? Ultimate Oh, my fucking God. I'm all fucking people. Uh, Look, I think he's, I, I he's one of it. top two that should take the, the title off Tessa at this point. Honestly, yeah, it get should your, be get, either him get or your belt off that racist and onto somebody else. Double belt dash. Double go. Oh, I want double belt dash. Take the belt off the racist, put it on a black guy. Ooh. All right, that's, Damn. That oh, that's raising. Back, but sure. I'm demonetized. <laughs> I'm making <laughs> Tim. Yeah, me we're getting we're getting demonetized for that probably. <laughs> yeah, we will. Get him. I'm gonna make Tim edit. <laughs> like oh boy, or Eric can edit based on how this is gone. Um, I think that actually does our money in the bank. Uh, we're gonna take a little bit of a sponsor break. Uh, so, where I wonder what the sponsor is, I alluded to it when we were talking in the beginning. The sponsor of this stream is me. I sponsor, uh... and uh, the reason because that is when we're talking about what we've been doing in our downtime. One of the big things that I've been doing is not wrestling related because Twitter is toxic, and I haven't watched a lot of wrestling because yeah, uh, I've become a Twitch streamer. My stream, which is hosting this channel right now, um, is a stream where I play different video games. Lately, it has been Xenoblade Chronicles 2, definitive, uh, not, uh, not that, uh, Torn of the Golden Country, because this month stupid, is Xenomay, where I play through Xenoblade games leading up to the release of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition on May 29th. And I've also been playing Super Smash Bros. Melee, Netplay with viewers, Mario, <clears throat> Mario Party, mainly Mario Party 4. I've also been playing through Final Fantasy VII Remake. That's what I did in April. I played through Paper Mario 64, Paper Mario 1000, Your Door, and many other games. There's a lot coming for the summertime, too. If you want to learn more about what I do on the stream, twitch.tv slash stelios double underscore. That's where I stream. I'll be streaming after this is over because I have a stream tonight because I stream four to five days a week for at least three to seven hours usually. That's Depends what I'm gross. doing. Three to yep. seven. That's the hours like I usually get each day. Like yeah, I either get at least like three and a half and at most seven or eight. Depends what I'm doing. Yeah. And you can subscribe to me if you want. Uh, Tim, is a, Tim is a sub to me. Fun fact. Twitch Prime. I don't want to pay money. Twitch. I mean, it's free. <laughs> I, I, I still get money for it. It still, it still counts towards my revenue. Uh, I have 10 subs. The Stealth Hotel is always open. That's my subgroup. Uh, we also are close. I think we're 15 <laughs> followers away from 100 followers. So it's growing. <laughs> And I've been streaming about one. What's that down for? Get out. You want you want to get banned in my chat? Because I can ban you. Whoa. <laughs> Tim is a mod in my chat, though. Please so you can probably unban you. Wait, what? I'm a mod? What? No, Tim is a mod. Oh, I thought you said Sam. I'm like, no. no. Uh, we're talking about we're talking about Kim. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, again, uh, twitch.tv slash Stelios double underscore for more. I'll be streaming today after this is over playing either Melee or Super Monkey Ball 2 to start and then eventually <laughs> back into Xenoblade. And Smoky also, and also, happy birthday, Tommaso Champa. Happy, happy birthday to Io Shirai, yeah. also. Oh, that's right. That's both of them. Yeah, both of them have birthdays today. Uh, yeah. enough, of this, enough of that. Back into the actual programming after I stop talking about Twitch for a minute. Uh, we're gonna go to our. So before we go into our, I guess like our actual last segment, we're gonna talk about our superstar of the week. And we're just gonna add a hard time with this. I was thought about giving it to Sammy Guevara because of the golf cart spot, so but good. Tim talked me out of it. And we're gonna give this one to Carrion Cross, also known as Killer Cross. Killer Cross. So yeah, this one, 
this probably shouldn't shock many of us for those who watched NXT this week or just saw the clip of it at least. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah, the build to his debut was done very well, in my opinion. Uh, him with the vignettes. Though. What'd you say? That entrance, though? The entrance was spectacular. Like, WWE gets a lot of flat. But, uh, like, I, have, you can't... I have some breaking news. What happened? Did I get banned? Uh, it's not you. It involves okay. SummerSlam, though. Oh. Eric. So, Eric. as of 33 minutes ago, I'm not sure if this is fully official yet, but as of 33 mi- uh, minutes ago, Mayor Marty Walsh has ah, ma- mess. Hey, has made it clear that the city of Boston will not be having any large gatherings until, quote, health data tells us it is safe, so the likelihood that SummerSlam will be in Boston is not very likely, and they most likely will have to relocate. Yes, look God. God. Performance Dang Center. It. I was performance to see Center. Roses. Um, they, uh, they said uh, n- no parades, festivals, or any large gatherings will be happening this summer in the city of Boston, up to and including Labor Day on September seventh. Yeah, that's start of the fall when like school gets back in session. Oh, uh, that means no shine either. That's mainly related. But... So uh, it, yeah. that if school gets back in session at this point. Hey, my first semester of grads was online. I couldn't give a shit. But um, it, doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, it seems like uh, SummerSlam will be relocating. That is performance uh, center, boys. Unfortunate. Oh, or God, like no. in some island somewhere because summertime. Am I right? You imagine. Or not Jericho Cruz because rival promotion. <laughs> but yeah, as we were talking about, yeah, uh, Carrion Cross, also known as Killer Cross. Yeah, Superstar of the Week because debut built to very well. Great entrance, and he beat the shit out of a jobber. Leon Ruff, not Leo Rush. We'll get to him. I later. kept thinking he was called Leo Rush. Like, and I'm like, hold on a minute. Leon, I'm like, wait. Leon, Leon <laughs> Leo Rush, Ruff, what? Leo Ruff. Exactly. That's literally what the jobber was called. Ruff. Speaking yep. of Leo Rush, he's going to never wrestle again. Yeah, we're, 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 should we just get to that right now? Do because it. that's like our last actual segment. Yeah. I guess that, right, that's all we really need to do. Superstar of the Week is him. All right. Yeah. So we're going to open up. The sauna seat is back. So we're all going to take a sit. Uh, I'll take a seat. As we talk about the recent WWE releases, mainly the superstars, not the production talent. So we're going to talk about where we think they will go and why, if we have a reason. And let's go I down. I so, this idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a Sam idea. So I have the full list. Uh, I'll run down the names first. Then we will probably just go down the list. So the names that were released, do not say where you think it will go just yet. Uh, top to bottom, Rusev, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson. Drake Maverick, but, but put an asterisk next to that because we don't know if that's actually real yeah. or not. Eric Young, EC3, Leo Rush, not Leon Ruff, uh, Heath Slater, Aiden English, Sarah Logan, Primo and Epico, remember them? Because I don't. Oh, I forgot. Curtis you. Axel, uh, Eric Rowan, Mike and Maria Canellis, Zach Ryder, No Way Jose, Cassius Ono, Tino Sabatelli, Deanna Perrazzo. Those are superstars. We're not, we're not going to count Kurt Angle because agent. Yeah. And other yeah. people are not going to count producers. So, <laughs> Kurt so, Angle's also old. He, he, can, he can still wrestle, kind of. Yeah, not great, yeah, but yeah. still. You should go was, home you, and take him yeah, out. Just go, no. home. You go home and see your black socks. My black socks. Why didn't Jason Jordan get released? He's just a producer. Jason Jordan's now, isn't he? a producer. But so, but so is Kurt Angle, isn't he? Well, Jason Jordan also has neck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He broke yeah. that he couldn't do anything anymore. Yeah. But like still Angle won a gold medal with a broken freaking oh, neck. Well, Who else can do that? D- Jason Not Jordan. Jason just Jordan. Has neck. <laughs> uh that sucks. All right, so I guess we'll just go like we'll start with whoever we want. Where do we think they will go and why if we have anything? Who wants to go uh, first? Gals and should going back to New Japan. I mean that's that's yeah. obvious. Yeah. That's um, obvious. Uh Luke Gallows might not be. I don't know if you've been seeing it. Luke Gallows is I, kind of hinting at impact. I've I've seen. Oh, oh yeah, because Ace is an eight, so he I was there. I don't think they'll. He shouldn't. Think he they should they go to New Japan, Japan, but L, Big LG wants to kind of go to Impact. That's interesting. That's I mean, Carl Anderson, Carl Anderson's pretty confirmed it at this point because it's like Carl duh. Anderson is going to New Japan. That's machine yeah. gun, man. He's the machine gun. He's he's gonna, gonna make. He's gonna kick Jay out of Bullet Club. He'll be the leader again. That would be that would be kick ass. Or no. we can do like another uh, like divided uh, Bullet Club. Uh, King Kenta. Or Bullet Club OGs versus the new Bullet Club. That so it's like really G.O.D., cool. Carl Anderson. Uh, who else? It's, um, fuck, what's his name? Balak Fale. Tama. Did you say Tama? Yeah, G.O.D. G.O.D. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll team up against the new Bullet Club, which is like well, Kenta, J. White. Okay, but they've so already done like, that with the Elite. Uh, yeah, the Elite did that, though. That's right. Because then they they left. That's how they left. Yeah. Um, who wants? Let's see. I'll go next. Uh, Rusev. A-W. N.W.A. N.W.A. 
AEW. The NWA. He'd be so good there. I think he. I think he. I could see him being really up high up on Cody's list. Um, Cody has his eyes on Zach. I think. Zach. Cody said that he does not want Zach. No, he says like their best. Cody didn't want Heath. I'm not signing him. He doesn't want both. That's shitty. Well, that's fucking lame. Um, I think I think Rusev would be good on power, in my opinion, because I think his character work would be really good. I think his promo and comedy style would work great there if someone like Aaron Stevens. And I, I think the crowd would love him. I could see him working with Stevens and question mark. But gonna just that so much. I really do think he's gonna go to AEW. I think that would be a wasted opportunity. Rusev it, like Rusev, like me, is, is is starting a Twitch stream. That's amazing. I think he's AEW a- needs to not sign anyone for a while. Yeah, they have. They have. Well, like cool, they have they so much talent right now that they, they. Plus, right now they don't need to sign anyone. That's true. Because no. like, when are they even going to be able to show up? Because like the compete clauses are a thing on some of these too. A lot of ninety days. I think Rusev. Yeah. Rusev, I think, definitely has a clause on him. Yeah, yeah I, I think he does. Um, uh, EC three should absolutely go back to Impact with Rockstar Spud. I think he's also going to EC three is gonna if EC three goes back to EC3 Impact. Is a weird there's one. your next either... world champion. I think it's either Impact or AEW for EC3. Eric Young definitely is going to go back to Impact. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eric Young's going to Impact. Yeah. But you know, EC3 for sure. would rejuvenate their entire division. Plus, he with would. all Impact has right now, could you imagine EC3 with guys like like Suicide's back again? Um, oh, yeah. With TJ EC3 again. and Moose. EC3 Elgin? And Moose, Elgin, Eddie Edwards. The only um, reason I say AEW is because they have been teasing him joining the Inner Circle. That'd be interesting to say the least. But Plus, they, like they him and M- MJF, EC3 like character with MJF, so they don't need EC3. Imagine yeah. them. Fe- imagine them feuding. He's not, though. But he's not. He's not like that anymore. He's he's different now, isn't he? He's essential. MJF? I don't know. We haven't no, seen no, 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 no. EC3, three. essential character three, is what he's. Called. Oh yeah, he changed his Twitter. That's right. I was gonna say he has a new gimmick now. I'm curious about that. I want to see what he does. It's gonna be kick ass. Like it looks I'm, really good. Rockstar Spud. We don't know. It's so weird though with it's him. So weird. And that's I will... why I said asterisk next to him because we don't know what's gonna happen. Who's just... who's next on the list? Uh, it could be anybody. Um, he's Slater. I mean, Let's go with him. I'm gonna repeat what I said before. He is gonna get fucking jacked. Come back to WWE in three years. What does he do in the WWE? WWE what does he do before that though? That's the indies. thing. I think he's gonna go Indies. NWA. Oh, I, I say NWA like... for him actually. I feel like he's gonna stop wrestling and start a. Grand, ground our school guys 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 he's just one man out <laughs> <laughs> he's also good. got kids don't worry about he that. got out. fired too <laughs> uh he slater should go home he has I kids think, at home i think um, he, i honestly think he should go to like the indies. indies work on his wrestling a lot more. I think it's going to be, and then it's come not, back with a big push in WWE. He's, he's a great wrestler. He's, he's good. He, he's charismatic I too. I don't think he needs any work. I just don't see any big company picking him up right now. That's why I think NWA is going to get him probably because he needs to become a there. big sweaty yeah, man. Him on NWA, Matt, he'd be really good there. I think. <laughs> uh, Aiden English is another one. I think I could go. Could we we can send him NWA power. Aiden. NWA power and in English? No. With, that, we... with, his, with his drama character, he'd, work, he'd fit right in with Stevens in question mark. Okay. Are they going to bring Aiden back English? Should go home. <laughs> My question is are they going to bring back Rusev Day? Oh, uh, uh, that, 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 tra- is that trademarked? Uh, yes, but they could just call it something else. They call it the Rusev Day. There the, Rusev. the Rusev. <laughs> Well, they, they probably, Bruce, go by different names. Holosev. Yeah, Rusev is terrible. probably going to be like Nero Slav or something. Yeah, like his actual name or something. Nero Day. Nero, Nero Day. There you go. Oh, Nero Day. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, no way, Jose. <laughs> Home. <laughs> because like, we, we they're not, not going to book him like Tim did now. They're not going to book him. No, he he, he also, uh, Indies, but also Home. Uh, yeah. Cares. We're done. Deanna Perrazzo, AEW. NWA. AEW, I think. Ring of Honor. I'm with AEW. Ring of, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Marty's trying. Yeah, Marty's actually then, trying. There's no women's that. champion. Ring of Honor. Yeah, I was gonna say R. Yeah, actually, Mar- wait, 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 Marty. Is there tension there? Because they used to date. Remember? Ring they're of married Honor still. Wait, they're married. Uh, I thought they were married. No, I thought they. I thought they broke up. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get the official ruling on this. <laughs> I, I, I knew. The survey it. says. Uh, they are still together. I was. I. Oh shit! Then never yeah, mind. I'm an idiot. That's why she, part of the reason why she was released. Shit, ROH then probably. Yeah, ROH hands. I was say AEW because I think they, she actually would do really well there. Oh yeah, her and Britt. 
Her versus oh, like wait, any. No, nope, never mind. They they did split. My apologies. Yeah, okay, oh, AW oh, then. AW. I am dumb. Don't listen to me. Uh, Cassius okay, Ono Indies. Okay, Steve Harvey. Cassius Ono Indies. Yeah. Chris, he's already Chris Hero again. Uh, yeah. He's already Chris Hero. So yeah, Indies. Ring of Honor. Actually, yeah. Yeah. ROH would actually Eat be pretty Roosh. good. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Eric Rowan. Put the title on Roosh. <laughs> I want Eric Rowan to. Look, it was fucking. No. What was his name? Uh, Eric gonna... Rowan to NWO. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna yeah. see that. Order, Eric Rowan joins the Dark Order. That could be. I, 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 actually, I think that could actually I happen. Eric Rowan if Cody, if him. Cody wants him, that'll happen. He has to come I... out with a mask and like be like, "Oh, we obviously know who it is," but they gotta play it like, "No, it's not Eric Rowan." Just then it is. the cage, they'll know who it's it is. Uh, his name will be Rarick Owen. Owen, <laughs> <laughs> just call him the Owen. I um, I no, Rarick. Jr. Goes, oh, it's Owen. No, just no, like ten. This might oh, be a theory. I don't think. I don't think he's gonna wrestle again. Austin Theory. That's... I mean, like he actually improved a fair amount. I remember, like he, last year, he did. Eric, Eric, Eric had for his most improved in the shooties. I think if he's going anywhere. Probably. NWA. Oh. I could see him on power, but like. I was gonna say I could see NWA, but I could also see A. I think it's gonna be A. AW, I think is actually more realistic as a Brody. Yeah. I could he's see that. Uh, who's next? Leo Rush is a weird one. Rapper. He's not wrestling anymore. He's going to be a rapper. rapper. <laughs> yeah, he's a rapper now. He's like. He might. He might never wrestle again, as he tweeted. Yeah. Which is crazy because like he was doing so well too when he came back. Dude, now he can. So now he can uh, tag team partner with ACH. <laughs> oh god i don't want to remember him i don't want, i don't want to think about him i already st- I've, I've talked a lot about him already yeah, i want to move on from him uh who else have we talked about sarah logan might actually get rehired in my I was gonna say, yeah i think she's gonna i think she's gonna because you know um eric is her husband yeah and like they were teasing she actually might join up with them on tv and i'm like you know what fair enough go ahead uh primo and epico that's right primo and epico cologne i think indies indies Either indies or I could also see if they get Car- Carlito back on board. I Impact. guess I bet they could go to AEW. I bet to Impact actually. Impact too. I think uh, Impact, Im- Impact does need a tag division. Yeah, Impact. They could do. A, they could fill that void. They could beat then, the North. They're not gonna beat the North. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Dude, the Revolts actually. Um, as, as formerly known as the Revival, want to uh, face them. Who should beat the North? It, See, this is t- if if you ask me, it should be TJP and Fala Ba. That would be fucking yeah, fun. That, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that would be fucking fun. Um, Look, the- but other than that, they have like because Rich Swan and Willie Mack are gonna break up and feud for. Well, the Swan title. Swan's X Division champion. No, wait, no, no, wait, no, no, wait. Mack is Mack. Mac, they're gonna they're gonna break up once Swan is healthy. Yeah, I sure forgot he was injured. Uh, oh yeah, Mikey Maria Canellas also got released. Uh, uh, New Honor. Japan Impact. I think they're gonna bring. I think they're gonna bring back the Kingdom. Ring of Honor. Yep. He's gonna I don't do care where they go. All I, was in, I was gonna say Impact, <laughs> New Japan. I could see yeah. him on either. I don't care where they go. With the kids from somewhere. Oh, Matt, Have we said Zach yet? Zach AEW. Yeah, but I Cody want Zach in AEW. Really, bad. but that's up to Cody. I think him not wanting to sign Zach is an absolute fucking war. Well, no, because yeah, Cody like, was just like, like they're friends, this isn't they? all friends wrestling. Yeah, he's not. He's not. He's a businessman. Who knows how much how they're doing right now? Yeah, plus let's see. Matt Cardona, is, I don't think he's gonna be wrestling much. That's true. He's not, he's doing some other stuff right well, now. He changed up his look apparently. Yeah, he did. So we know it's he... also weird that like he's there, but his well, he's gone up, but Chelsea Green's still there. Just, yeah, just own a toy shop. Yeah, <laughs> just That's own it. a toy shop. That's it. I mean, maybe. That's all you have to do. Is that everybody? Well, there's also this one was obvious, but like. The revival, not as the revolt, is like the last one, but like they're going everywhere. Yeah. They're gonna, they want to oh, go yeah, everywhere. Yeah, I agree with Eric. They're gonna be like everywhere. They want to go everywhere. They want to tour and shit. I think they're gonna be the last territory team and just like come into each company. Because the they'll guy. go to like they'll go to Power, they'll go to ROH, they'll go to Impact, and then they'll end up in on Dynamite at the end. They've, they've, already, the they've already teased that FTR with that whole the new look and, and everything. Thing, yeah. Cash Wheeler and Dax Fuck Harwood. Revival. For the, re- for the revolt, as it's now being said, they tried trademarking so many things and like they got called out for some of them. I'm like, damn, they just can't win. Yeah, I it's sad. Fuck trademarks, fuck trademarks, but most, yeah. copyright. But most importantly, guys, fuck the revival. Yep, <laughs> I, wish my, I, wish, I wish my water bottle said that. <laughs> you can just get a sharpie. 
I just I had just that. write it on there. There was one right over there, actually. I don't want to have to clean that off. <laughs> so no, that's steel skin. I mean, that not steel skin. Uh, stainless steel. Sorry, steel Final Fantasy VII. Don't clean it off. Um. Oh yeah, I think the last one we talked about is Tino Sabatelli. Uh, Ben. Forgot about that one. Ben. <laughs> Impact. If anything, I guess Impact. I don't know. Oh, I don't. I don't nothing about him. Isn't Tito Sabatelli Mandy Rose's? Brother? Yeah. Give me a sec. I have no idea. I don't know about what this you're guy. Talking about Otis is Mandy Rose's boyfriend. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Andy. And then she's gonna get her ass kicked by Sonia. It's gonna be great. So he's gonna get a big uh, yeah, push. As of April 2018, Tino Sabatelli is almost engaged to Mandy Rose. Yeah. Almost. Yeah, good for him. Yes. That's 2018. That could have happened. Otis right now. still has his bo- has the chance. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's gonna see them together. He's, he's gonna drop the roses again. Did you know he played in the oh, NFL. No. Yeah. Wait, what? Tino Sabatelli played for the to... the Buccaneers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh shit, he's gonna go back to Tampa Bay now. Play with Brady. Yeah. Oh, Brady he he should have gone. To That's the what Gronk did. Gronk is still a twenty four seven champion. I was yeah. gonna say, when are we gonna? When... Yeah. Oh, are we gonna have like uh, it's gonna be like a Buccaneers game and someone's just gonna rush in. No, I hope they play the Patriots at some point. Them. No, I want the Patriots to play them at some point. For think... Bill Belichick to pin Rob Gronkowski. I was gonna say I think that'd be amazing. Gronk is gonna score some point or something. I don't know how football works. And then our truth comes out. And our truth is Lee just gonna sprint across the field. He hides. The, <laughs> like... He hides. The, he he he's, he's disguised as a cheerleader, then pins him. Yeah, has, it's, it's has, live on This has to happen. This has to happen on Fox too, because SmackDown's on Fox. They gotta do it on Fox. That's so funny. <laughs> it would be live on WWE and also live on Fox. Because like, guess that SmackDown's on Fox. There Could you, you imagine Perfect. like the Fox like football announcers trying to call that? They're like, and like Joe Buck has no idea what's going on. As a <laughs> oh, what like, oh, yeah, and oh, some oh. wrestler ran on the field. And what does he do? Is he Chris Collinsworth's not gonna know what's going penny. on either. But also and fuck I'm Chris Collinsworth. Chris Collinsworth and oh, fucking here's hate a guy him. who just pins a guy. Now here's a guy who just won a championship, but it's not the He Super just Bowl. took a pelt from Rob Gronkowski. They're definitely gonna get the title name wrong. Oh it's the uh, 48, 48, 48, 24, it's champion. two, four, <laughs> seven, eleven, seven, eleven, the seven, eleven champion. That's what our truth called it for a long time. <laughs> yeah, that's all the release. That's all the releases, by the way. So I don't know. I, I think we're at the actually at the end now. Drake Maverick is a so. work. Don't change my mind. I, I mean, no, I think it actually might be at this point. We already we already talked about it, but like if he wins, like if he beats Kushida, then yes, it's probably all the work. releases should make their own uh, brand. It's called All Elite Wrestling Two Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> all <laughs> wrestling. Over, overall great wrestling. There you go. I could see a really OBG. cool table coming out of that release thing of like three WCW guys. New Blood. Oh, CW. Great. No, they're they're gonna get they're gonna get together and uh, bring back Lucha Underground. Uh, Lucha Underground, their current champion, Jake Hager. <laughs> of what? What is it now? Like eight hundred undefeated days? MMA superstar, Jake Hager. Yes, who need a guy in the balls. What up? Uh, <laughs> I forgot about nuts. that. I forgot about that. That's how he won that second fight. Uh, did like Arch Truth also wrap him down in the ring for his first one, which is also amazing. Wait, what did he do? Our, again, Hager's first MA fight, I think Archer like wrapped into the ring. Yeah, yeah, he did. Which that's super cool. Oh, I didn't realize they officially said Lucha Underground is no more. That, that's that's why. Th- that's why I said that. they can bring it back now. With all these released talent, they're gonna bring it back, and there you go. Yeah, what's his face? Um, Dario ECW. Playbill. It was conf- ECW. It was confirmed on a 2020 podcast by fucking Vampiro of all people. <laughs> Vampiro said, "If I'm gonna quote here." Uh yeah, ninety percent of the rosters on AEW. The writers are gone. The production crew is gone. Who gives a shit? I mean, like, because like, King Cuerno is now in NXT or El Hijo del Fantasma. What is what's this abduction storyline? I think he's behind all that. It's no, it, it's not Fantasma. I don't think it's Kushida. Kushida. That's a swerve. It's no, it's everyone that's been taken so far. It's after they wrestle a match with Kushida. Oh, so they praise Kushida as a god, and Kushida wins the cruiserweight title. I didn't even think of that. That's See, a fucking crazy thing. Tell me thing. I'm wrong. Watch wait, no, wait, 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 no. It's called Phantasma to try to get kidnapped after he beat Jack Gallagher. There was no sign of Kushida there. The, that final, is true. the final is going to be Phantasma versus Kushida. All the masked people are going to get involved, and it's going to be Kushida. Is Kushida wins, else, then we get know? Kushida Devlin, and I'm happy. Does anyone else notice that this Cruiserweight title is like a mini G1 climax? Yeah, no, it's, 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 yeah, it's, their, it's their best of the Super Juniors. That's what it is. Yeah. That's literally what it is, because Rip, the actual best of Super Juniors, because mm-hmm. Ishimori would have won that and then would have lost to Takahashi. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, fuck, I miss New Japan. As long as they all practice social distancing like Tomohiro Ishii and the IWGP heavyweight title. Oh, God damn it, no. Oh. <laughs> He's never winning that. No. And Tetsuya Naito in a good title reign. <laughs> Tetsuya Naito it. should drop one of the titles at this point. No, we need a pro- we're not going to no, actually get a proper drop, reign. He should drop the heavyweight title. It's done. Oh, come on, man. He should drop it to Jay White. No, drop the other one. Oh. Not the fucking Switchblade. Are you fucking kidding me? Watch the oh. heat. It makes nice. Drop it to Switchblade, please. No. Look, I already I, I already fucking felt guilty picking up a Wrestle Kingdom, but now you actually want it to become reality? Oh, God. Look, fine, <laughs> whatever. Let's put have a Bushi. Beat him next year. There you go. Let's put oh. it on Jay White's manager. I forget his name right now. Gato. Let's Gato. put it on Gato. He and put the Intercontinental Gato, Gato title. books the company. He totally would do that if put he had Put the this. Intercontinental title on Jato. <laughs> the fucking kendo stick. There you go. Writes itself. Oh my god, that'd be a mess. It's just, if people say uh, the tag about... titles are Yujiro Takahashi and the woman he brings with him. Madabu not oh the bunny. <laughs> oh. Whatever she is. But see, have you be like Madabu Nakanishi, but he's retired now. Because yeah, Monster Mondays. Or Monster Mornings, he whatever he calls it. Uh who else could it be? Well, cha- who are the champions right now for tag team? Uh, oh, it's Golden uh, Aces. It's Golden Aces. Yeah, yeah it's uh Tanahashi and Ibushi. Tanabushi as I once called them. Hanabush. Oh, uh, th- yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, I think that actually does it. So we're gonna, we'll wrap this up. Uh, so I should ask Tim, when should we when should we expect the next podcast episode? Great fucking question. Do we go back? Do we go back to biweekly or do we come weekly? Because we what, can, what we else can, are we gonna we fucking do? We could do biweekly. We have a lot of content coming out. We have uh, Eric's 2011 Money in the Bank review, aka the CM Punk show, the musical. We have uh, Stell My doing the, this Sunday's review. We have me doing uh, Backlash, Backlash 2003, baby. And with we have uh, the Rock. Writer's Room Episode 2, King Billy Gunn, King Ass. I don't know what the fuck you want to call it. Hey, ass King. Uh, and I'm then not, maybe, then maybe something with me with Superpower on Tuesday. I'm uh, not sure yet. Superpower. And then the rest I haven't figured out. But we'll go. I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna do a one man recreation of a Royal Rumble match <laughs> in like your backyard. It's just, yeah. it's just, just thirty different Sams all rung together. All, all different. I'll just, you know, it's Sam doing just, different gimmicks. For me, I just <laughs> yeah, do every like single Nicole. entrance. Ever yeah, it's, it's in a thirty faces to Sam. Uh, Matt that's is, a great Matt gimmick. Is uh, sucking a dick, and that's about it for me. Uh, but I want to do every entrance ever in WWE, even the shitty ones. Uh, what, podcast will like... probably be uh, pro- probably biweekly still, so we'll see in like two weeks. And yeah, yeah. I think and next right time before, is uh, uh, right before double, double or nothing. nothing. That's double nothing prediction. D O N. Oh, it's on uh, the calendar. Uh, D O N two oh. electric boogaloo. The twenty third is uh, double or nothing. Uh, oh, yeah, we can figure out how we're gonna handle that. Oh dude. yeah, and my I, or day before my birthday. Yeah, we'll we'll be watching that together. We can do a Zoom call of us watching it together, though. That would actually be lit. We should totally yeah. do that. Do yeah. a Zoom call. Tim can share his account with us, and we'll watch together. Dude, yeah. yeah. Just so I don't have to do a pay per view review. That actually, would be kind of hype. Actually, I was gonna remember it because you actually record our reactions to it better. See, so actually, remember what happened. Boom shakalaka. But yeah, that's it for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anybody? Uh, anybody else? Anything to plug? Fuck the revival. Sorry, I keep saying uh, that. <laughs> that. That's just that's just slander. Follow me on Twitch at Impulse Seven Five Three. Don't do it. Follow me. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Impulse Seven Five Three. Uh, and. Fo- <laughs> I will Follow give everyone on... that views this five dollars if you don't and, subscribe. Well, Jake, well, Jake's gonna get money then because I think and, Jake's probably still here. And if and I know Tim is probably gonna edit this out. Follow me on TikTok at Impulse Seven Five Three. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm TikTok. <laughs> Fuck it, I get a weird champ for TikTok. Oh yeah. my God. Uh, book Sam. That's my plug. <laughs> 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 um watch me later on twitch today twitch.tv slash stelios underscore subscribe to the cell hotel and yeah see me there probably like an hour after this goes up uh, or after w- this when i do start streaming again after i move go to twitch.tv slash the steam dream it's different who is a mod who is a mod in my chat i am a mod because i'm better than all of you combined because I, I don't know anybody else twitch i don't know anybody else twitch account is on for, from here so yeah um yeah that's gonna wrap things up so when we see you again two weeks from now we will be talking about double okay. or nothing and some other stuff, whatever, right. whatever is happening. Probably a recap of Money in the Bank and whatever else happened. Mom. So, yeah, that's going to wrap things up. So, we're going to close our doors again. So, we will be back two weeks' time with another episode of the Shoot Sauna. It's good to be back.
good to be back. It's good to be back. It's good All to right. be back. And also Lars Sullivan did gay porn. 